is in the US to speak with top officials from Donald Trump's administration. And he also met with the cybersecurity advisor, Rudy Giuliano, just a short time ago in New York, among others. Uh, good to see you. So you held these meetings with administration officials. What, what is the message from Brussels about EU relations with this new administration? What did you tell them? Uh, good evening, Michael. Let me start by telling you that all meetings uh, were very positive, very friendly and very constructive. So if we want to convey a message is that uh, we really want to continue working together in the future in the field of migration and security because uh, both issues are of global dimensions and uh, the European Union and the United States uh, will continue working together as it was the case in the past. We are confronted with the same challenges and we have to work together. It, EU, US relations, uh, relations that have their roots in our history and I'm sure that we shall keep work like this in the future in a pre in spirit of solidarity and friendship. And to that point, you, you actually issued a statement today. I want to just quote one line from it. You said, I also underlined during our meeting that the refugee crisis today is a global challenge and that the EU and the US should address it together, which, it, which is a noble sentiment. But how are you going to do that, bring the US on board when the administration seems to be heading in the other direction when it comes to refugees? It is uh, not only a noble, a noble word, it has to do with the reality. You know that uh, today, more than 200 million people all around the world are migrants and approximately 60 million people, they are refugees. So it is a global issue. And in Europe, we have to be very frank, very clear. We have been taken by surprise in the beginning, but now we are better prepared. And during this period, we work together with uh, the American uh, um, authorities in order to copy somehow, to adopt the same best practices that uh, uh, the United States uh, have been uh, using during the last uh, uh, at least 100 years. Yeah. That's a, a nation with great experience of migration. But the situation is very complicated right now. We need this international cooperation and we should keep working on that. You know that last year, here in New York, a very important gathering took place. It was an extraordinary General Assembly of the United Nations. And leaders from all around the world, they gathered here and they articulated somehow the same political word and they showed their determination to work together. So it's a global issue and the two main stake, uh, stakeholders is the European Union and the United States. But, but, but as the people in the US are learning and no doubt people in Europe are too, there's a new sheriff in town. You know, it was interesting when you look at the <laughs> relationship overall, it was only a few days ago that the French president, Francois Hollande, said, uh, quote, it is unacceptable that that should be through a number of statements by the US president, pressure on what Europe should be or what it should no longer be. You had the Austrian chancellor calling the travel ban problematic and, and similar sentiments to what you just said, that there'd be no doubt, he said, that America shares responsibility for the refugee flows by the way it has intervened militarily. What concerns remain for you when it comes to the US policy on refugees and migrants as it stands? Because it doesn't seem you're on the same page. We are not on the same page for the moment. I think the situation will be much more clear in the near future. As far as the statements made by European leaders, I'm not here to make any comment on that. I represent the European Commission and the European Commission has a very clear policy on migration based on values and principles. And this is what we try to do right now, to address this issue in a responsible way with full respect to international law and uh, the principles upon which this law is based. So, I understand governments sometimes have different points of view and many governments are addressing their domestic, uh, uh, political and electorate uh, uh, audience. But the European Commission is uh, somehow shaping the line for the other member states to follow and so far we're doing well yes we are far away from saying that the situation is perfect we are lacking behind behind as far as relocation is concerned for instance and there we have a problem because mm. we try to convince everybody to be part of this relocation and resettlement scheme and everybody should show more solidarity and mm. this term solidarity is not as you said before a noble word it is a legal, a binding legal principle 
explicitly stipulated in the founding treaties of our union. You, you have some uh, challenges ahead, uh, sir, and I, I wish you well. Dimitris Avramopoulos, the European Commissioner for Migration, Home Affairs and Citizenship. Thanks for being with us. On the Thank program. you for having me. Thank you, Michael.